Apple has released macOS Ventura Beta 4. And in this video, I'll be showing you the new changes found in Beta 4. Right off the bat, I noticed that settings now has outlines up around these, so I'm not sure what it looked like before. Let's see if I have a screenshot of it. Alright, here's a screenshot from Beta 3. So the outlines were here, it's just that they're a lot more visible than they were in Beta 3. So I personally really like this, it makes the settings app look really better and more macOS-y. I noticed that notification sent to here has fading a little bit differently. So I don't have a screenshot of Beta 3 or older, but I could definitely tell you this looks a lot different. Like, it looks a lot better in my opinion. When labeling Stage Manager, you now have this new pop-up that comes up. So it tells you what Stage Manager is, if you press Enable, it will enable it, so I don't have anything here. Let me put things here real fast. And it's just what you would expect. Stage manager, just working. And yeah, that's just a new pop-up when you press turn on for stage manager. And now when it comes to messages, we have some bad news. All right, I'm gonna see if the messaging bug has been fixed. And it doesn't look like it has been fixed yet. Five minutes later. And you can see right here that the message just came in and that bug has not yet been fixed yet, so maybe Beta 5 will fix it. And I notified them in the feedback assistant twice. I'm not sure when they'll fix it, hopefully in Beta 5 for the notification issue with messages. And I noticed when you say H Siri and the back picks it up, there's a new sound. I don't know what to think of this, um, I guess it's better, and at the same time I don't think it's better. Hopefully we have an option in system settings to change the sound of Siri. Now I'm gonna run a Geekbench test real fast to see if macOS Ventura Beta 4 has made any performance improvement from the original beta. Unfortunately, I have not ran a Geekbench test in macOS Ventura Beta 3, so I'll be running it in Beta 4 and comparing it to the first beta. So we've got a 1739 on the single core and a 4573 on the multi-core. Now comparing it to macOS Ventura initial beta, we can see that performance has improved a little bit by like a couple points higher, so it's not different from beta 1. It's almost on par, I guess, with macOS Monterey 12.4. Or it just could be that not that different anymore, and we and this is gonna be the final result for macOS Ventura, since for some reason macOS seems a lot smoother than iOS. Now, should you update to macOS Ventura Beta 3? And I say no. The reason why is because of the messages bug. Unless you don't send messages at all, then I guess it's okay. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about macOS Ventura Beta 3. There's not that much change from Beta 3, and I can definitely see this being a great macOS release. So thanks for watching, come like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!